So every single day, do you yes. come here to this beach? Yes, every morning. <laughs> yes, I do. Gino Cavacci is what you would call a treasure hunter. The Italian immigrant loves sifting through the sand. This is how you find things at the beach. You might go to the store, I just come over here and I found it. This is Did just a fishing bobber, but look at what he spotted Wednesday morning on Pompano Beach. It was round in the sand. I just gave him a kick and he looked at me and said, wait a minute, this is an eyeball. Yep, your eyes are looking at a giant eye. Trust me, these photos are not fake. They were given to us by state wildlife investigators after Kovacci called them. Kovacci says, really, the best way to describe this eyeball is huge. In size? It's about this size. Now, the big question is, what giant ocean creature does that giant eye belong to? We wondered if those strolling the beach would have the answer. But when we showed them the pictures to see if they could even guess what this is, their eyes deceived them. A shell? A shell? Mm -hmm. Keep guessing. Oh, A candle holder? <laughs> All right, so we needed a real expert. After some phone calls, we found Charles Messing, a professor of marine biology. When he heard the waves washed up a massive eyeball, his first thought was it belonged to a giant squid. That's until he saw the photos. I said, well, that does not really look like a squid. So I did a little hunting and I came up with that. And that is a broadbill swordfish. Looks like it could be a match to me. Blue eyes can't be all that common in the ocean, right? Kovacci says whatever this eye belonged to, it must be so big that if he saw it, the only thing he could say is, Mamma mia.